Hey everyone, my name is Manuela and today I'm going to get a little bit more personal than usual and I am going to share with you guys a bit more about my 61 pound weight loss story so get ready for, well, a long story. When I was in high school, my weight always stayed between 115 to 119 pounds. Keep in mind that I am 5'4", so that's a normal weight for my height. My weight gain didn't begin up until my freshman year of college, but let me tell you a little bit of a backstory for context. Towards the end of my senior year of high school, my mom had a gallbladder removal surgery due to gallstones, but a few days after her surgery, her doctor called her to let her know that she needed to come to his office to talk to him the next day. When she went in, they informed her that she actually had gallbladder cancer which is a terminal type of cancer and that she needed to get checked to see how far the cancer had spread. It turns out that her cancer had spread to other areas of her body and she had stage 4 gallbladder cancer and then the doctor told my dad and I that we needed to start making arrangements because she didn't have much time left to live. That is when everything changed for me. By the time I started my freshman year of college, I was working three jobs to be able to pay for my school and bills. I was exhausted, I was emotionally struggling a lot. To say it was a stressful time is an understatement. I still attempted school during this time as it gave my parents peace of mind for my future. So for the next two years, on top of working three jobs, I would consistently pull all-nighters trying to keep up with schoolwork and would either stress eat while trying to stay up or reward myself with tons of all-you-can-eat sushi dates with fellow classmates. During any free time I had, if I wasn't spending it at home, I was going out with my friends partying and drinking just to basically escape my reality. My behavior was very self-destructive and even though I had a smile on my face for everyone to see, I was breaking on the inside. A month after I turned 21, my mom passed away. During the last three weeks of her life, she was in hospice care and eventually she lost her ability to talk and move. That experience was very traumatic to me and once she passed away, I decided to take some time off from school until I could figure my life out. On my weekends, I continued going out to nightclubs as my way to escape my reality. By the time I was 23 years old, all the overeating, binge drinking and party caught up to me and I began feeling terrible in my body. I had put on a total of 50 pounds, leaving me at around 166 pounds, which wouldn't even be my heaviest weight yet. At that time, I started to deal with high blood pressure and I started to get kidney stones. I remember waking up one morning and saying to myself that enough was enough and I decided to make some changes. Even though I had never really exercised in my life and I signed up with the CrossFit gym down the street from my house and I also enrolled in their diet program which was a mix between keto and paleo. This was the change I needed at the time and I ended up losing around 20 pounds which got me down to around 146 pounds. I followed this way of eating for about two years and even if I was really strict, I just couldn't get below 146 pounds. During this time, I also enrolled back in school and during my school breaks, I began to travel. Even though I felt like I was finally taking charge of my life again, I still had high blood pressure, I still had issues with my kidney stones, and I actually developed high cholesterol, so I knew that whatever I was doing had to eventually change, but my main priority was to finish school. By the time I was 25 years old, I was in my last semester of college and I started an internship. I decided to leave CrossFit as I didn't have enough time for everything. Without any accountability, I ended up resorting back to my old eating habits and I ended up at my heaviest weight at 176 pounds. Even though I was proud and excited to have finally graduated college, I was also feeling really scared for my health as I had no idea as to where to even begin to turn my health around. 
In January of 2018, I was 26 years old and on a flight back from San Francisco where I sat next to a kidney specialist. I shared with him how I had five cases of kidney stones in a span of two years and he recommended me a whole food plant-based diet. Even though I initially had no interest in this diet, my fear for my health was greater than trying a new way of eating and thankfully I decided to try it out. Two days later, I headed down to Barnes & Noble and I ended up coming home with a whole food plant-based oil-free cookbook and with the book The Starch Solution by Dr. John McDougall. I remember the first recipe I ever made was a vegan mac and cheese and I've never looked back to eating any animal product ever again. When I first read the book The Starch Solution, I remember feeling overwhelmed with information. As a result, I turned to vegan junk food for comfort and ease as it resembled what I knew best. My vegan junk food diet didn't work out too well as I ended up in the hospital with a gallbladder attack after a night of margaritas, chips, and salsa. I was scheduled for gallbladder surgery for the following week. When I went in for surgery, I woke up only to find out that my surgery was unsuccessful because they couldn't find a gallbladder inside me to remove. They said that I was probably born without a gallbladder and that my pain might be from an ulcer. I continued having this burning back pain at night. I googled all my symptoms and every search kept pointing me back to gallbladder attacks. I remembered when I had read The Star Solution, Dr. McDonald Google talked about gallbladder issues and how to handle them, so I went back and reread the entire book and followed everything that Dr. McDougall said. All my pains went away and I never had a gallbladder attack again after following his recommendations. To top it off, I started losing weight almost instantly. I started to lose about 1 to 2 pounds weekly. Also, my blood work started to improve almost instantly and I got rid of my high blood pressure and high cholesterol. Even though I was feeling a lot better, I I was a bit traumatized when it came to gallbladders based on my experience with my mom. I spent the next four months going to different doctors until they found that I did have a gallbladder but it was underdeveloped and it was the size of a three-year-old and it was embedded inside my liver. I ended up having surgery performed by a liver specialist out in UCLA. For all of you that ask me what my stomach scar is from, it's from this surgery. From when I started following Dr. McDougall at the end of June 2018 up until January 2019, I had lost 30 pounds, putting me back at 146 pounds. On January of 2019, I started dating my husband Brian and I gained some happy pounds. We were constantly going out on dates and we were also taking a lot of trips around the US. Even though I kept the food at home, whole food, plant-based and oil-free, whenever we traveled or ate out, we ate a lot of vegan junk food. My husband came from a complete opposite diet and he seemed to be someone more open-minded to vegan junk food versus jumping straight to whole food plant-based oil free. On my end, I gave in to vegan junk food since I was just so excited to go out on dates with him. In September of 2019, we got engaged and by the time we got to December of 2019, I had put back on a total of 10 pounds. In January of 2020, I told Brian that I was done with the vegan junk food and that I couldn't allow myself to go down this path again. We got married in July of 2020 and by then I had lost some weight again and even Brian had lost a total of 30 pounds just by eating my food at home. By the time September came around, I was down to 115 pounds and I have been effortlessly maintaining since. Also, I haven't had a single kidney stone for over three years now. I am now 29 years old and feel the best I have ever felt in my entire life. I may occasionally have a glass of wine or a cocktail on a date night, but other than that, even when I eat out, I try to keep it pretty clean. I love my life, I am happy, I am healthy, and I have an amazing life partner that supports me on whatever I choose to do. I am humbled and thankful for the knowledge my past experiences have brought me and I am grateful for today and looking forward to the future. If you are on a journey yourself and have any setbacks, don't forget that tomorrow is a new day and every day has the potential to be the start of a new chapter in your life. Thank you for watching.